Well, Joyce, legislators tell me that these recent restrictions on when police can chase after someone have made the streets safer. But Centralia police say what happened here on Magnolia Street Sunday only made them upset. Sunday morning, someone called police saying a man was looking underneath cars on Centralia's West Magnolia Street. When officers arrived, the man ran to a car and started to drive away. They drove over the curb, over a, a green belt, and uh, when they got on the road, they just took off. Police followed the black four-door sedan with their lights flashing, but when the driver sped off, police let him go. They say they had to. Uh, I think uh, most officers uh, probably in this state are, are very uh, frustrated with this particular law and the way it's being implemented. Centralia's chief partially blames the sharp rise in catalytic converter thefts on a state law passed in 2021. Police can only get involved in high speed chases with people suspected of DUI, violent crimes or sex offenses, not theft. And Chief Denham says thieves know that. We have had a lot more uh, people running from us than ever before. We made the judgment that it is not worth endangering the lives of the police and innocent people to go solve the property crime immediately. Senator Jamie Peterson helped get a series of bills passed, changing how police are trained, limiting their use of force, and restricting chases, even if it results in someone getting away with a crime. The injuries and deaths that result from adrenaline-fueled chases do not justify the marginal speed at which law enforcement can apprehend a suspect. Centralia's chief says officers should be able to determine when it's safe to chase after someone. There's certain things you just don't chase people for. It's not worth the, the danger and the threat. Uh, but in cases like this where we're having these type of uh, just overt crimes, things that are, that are kind of plaguing our society, our communities, uh, those are the kind of things we'll probably chase down. Police say after that suspect drove out of this area, he went over to a park and ride near I-5 where he tried stealing someone's catalytic converter, but other car owners apparently scared him away. Live in Centralia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.